Hi there everyone, welcome to another episode of the Weekly Roundup. This week we're excited to talk about the new AI-centric announcement from FIFA and the new exciting ways DALI 2 is being used. So stay tuned to stay in the loop and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss another update on the latest and greatest in data science. After several months of testing in both the Arab Cup and Club Championships, FIFA has announced that it will be using AI-powered cameras to help referees make offside calls in the 2022 World Cup. The system consists of both a sensor in the ball, which sends data to technical teams over 500 times per second, and 12 purpose-built tracking cameras around the stadium. The information captured is then fed into machine learning algorithms to track 29 points in the bodies of each player on the field. FIFA says that offside calls typically take around 70 seconds to make, which can upset fans and create needless tension both on the pitch and among supporters. The AI system will reduce this time to one second, the sports body claims, and will also enable broadcasters to immediately show accurate, automatically generated replay graphics to fans, highlighting exactly where a player committed an offence. English referee Dermot Gallagher says, It isn't always as easy as people going, oh yeah, he's offside, I see it there. Because the ball moves so fast, the players move so fast, forwards arc their runs, they shape their bodies different to defenders, we know that they lean forward. There's a lot of complex decisions to be made within one decision. Are you looking forward to this new tech being used in the World Cup? Let us know in the comments. Our next story covers the world record set by Cerebra Systems for the largest AI models ever trained on one device. The Cerebrus CS2 system, which is a giant silicon wafer the size of a dinner plate, can train models with up to 20 billion parameters. While the Cerebrus system is much, much larger than an ordinary GPU, containing 26 trillion transistors compared to the next largest 52 billion, the giant wafer significantly reduces the system engineering time necessary to run large language models from months to minutes. It also eliminates one of the most painful aspects of language processing, the partitioning of the model across hundreds or thousands of small graphics processing units. The big win here is that the Cerebra system will not only reduce the staggeringly large amount of time it takes to train a large language model, it will also significantly reduce the electricity cost of running thousands of individual graphics cards. These two factors could open up a world of possibility for AI, particularly in fields like medicine, where models can now be quickly trained on many more parameters than ever thought possible. AstraZeneca, one of Cerebrus's biggest clients, says, training which used to take two weeks on clusters of GPUs, we accomplished in a few days. Have you ever encountered a problem too big to fit onto one system? Let us know in the comments. Our final story this week centers on the application of DALI 2 as a photo editor. The community who has access to DALI 2 has been giving us frequent updates on new ways it can be used, and one photographer has shown that it does a really great job at sharpening blurry images. In addition to in-painting, DALI 2 also does out-painting really well. Out-painting is the extension of an image canvas beyond what was originally in the photograph. While this application is something many photo editing apps offer, the quality difference between them and DALI 2 is clearly visible. In another outpainting experiment, one DALI 2 user got the software to expand on Michelangelo's creation, Madam. The AI did a great job of adding more and more and more to the frame, and eventually showed the painting as the centerpiece on a dinner table. The software seems to be great at taking in a reference image and expanding on it, with other users showcasing how it can impressively stylize small icons. This is something that could enable content creators not only to build and maintain their own visual style, but could also make the task of providing relevant accompanying images for a story or report much, much easier. How will you be using DALI 2 when it's released to the public? Let us know in the comments. That's it for another roundup. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you same time, same place next week.